Hey there, Trail Blazers. Hope you are doing good. And again, welcome back to the channel Panther Schools. So we are talking about the design patterns in Salesforce. And in the same series, this video is going to be all about decorator pattern. I'm sure most of you have used this decorator pattern, but you don't know the name of this pattern. That's why it might seem fancy to you or it might seem a heavy word because we're talking about design pattern. So before we go ahead, please give it a like, give it a subscribe. And now without further delay, let's quickly start. So first let's talk about what decorator pattern is. So decorator pattern is basically to use the, or we can say decorator pattern is used to solve the problem at the runtime. And uh, we are creating some temporary fields. For example, we are, uh, developing a lightning web component and in the lightning web component you wanted to display the account name which is related to opportunity now if you see the data model for account and opportunity both are related with each other but you can only get the account id if you query account dot name then you will get definitely get the account name now here you can what you can do is you can use account dot name put it somewhere in a field which is your custom class object attribute or it could be your java class uh, javascript class object attribute where you are going to put the account name and then use that in your lwc and then you can use that attribute to your child lwcs or you can also send that information to the parent lwc as well so that is what the decorator pattern is the best example of decorator pattern is wrapper classes i hope everyone has used app wrapper class if you have not i have recorded a video for that I will give it in the description of this video. You can go ahead and watch what wrapper class is, how to implement that. So wrapper class is nothing. It is a decorator pattern where you are creating multiple custom attributes inside a class. And then you are using that class in your either visual force pages in your aura component or LWC component. Here is one more example, which is selection checkbox. That is very famous example whenever you learn about wrapper classes. So it could be like there are a list of cases and then out of, let's say that there are 10 cases. And out of 10 cases, you wanted to select three cases and you wanted to perform some logic on those selected three cases. So how you will perform that you can also do with the help of decorated pattern that you can do with the help of wrapper classes. Now let's talk about what is problem statement for this video. Say that you're working for a company called XYZ Private Limited and Bob is the sales manager. Now Bob and his team wants to display or wants to see some opportunities, the list of opportunities in the tabular format. But there is one requirement. They want to see the opportunities in like opportunity amount in different currencies. It, like by default, their currency is a USD. They wanted to see the amount in Euro. They wanted to see the amount is INR as well. Now what is happening here is there could be in future there could be multiple currencies added like uh, Canadian dollar or Australian dollar it could be Chinese yen or Japanese yen right so if you start creating the field at the opportunity label and then convert there you will get the error right not error actually you will like end up creating multiple formula fields and then you might reach to the limit of custom fields creating inside a custom object and that is all what here you can do is you will say okay go ahead create an apex class under that apex class you will have multiple attributes like opportunity name opportunity account name what is a close date then you can have the various attributes for storing the amount in usd in euro in inr and other attributes as well in near future if there comes the requirement like you wanted to have other values like to have uh, Japanese yen or to have Australian dollar. You just go ahead, create those two additional attributes in your effect class, make the changes, and then you make the changes at LWC label. You will be able to see the things. Your code is going to work. You don't need to create any custom field. You don't need to bother about the performance of your page layout and the query costing and other things. Now, let's go ahead quickly and implement this decorator pattern so for the purpose of this demo i have created 
one class which is opportunity LWC service and another class opportunity LWC service test. Now here if you see this is a very simple method I'm sure everyone is familiar about this what it is doing it it is just having a static method the name is get all opportunity and then this is what I'm doing a query on like ID name account ID account name and we also have to include one field which is amount now here yeah one more field where that is close date so we need to have close date as well close date from opportunity now what is the requirement the requirement is like we wanted to display the opportunity and that opportunity amount should be displayed in multiple currencies so for that what we will do is we'll quickly create one internal class and we will say public class opportunity wrapper and this is our class okay now here inside this class what we will do is we will have various attributes attributes for let's quickly create one attribute we'll say public opportunity and then this is going to we are going to make as a get and private set okay so we are just making it so that any class can access this attribute but they cannot set the attribute okay this is where we are going to set the opportunity record instead of opportunity let's put the opportunity record and then we are going to have the attribute for multiple currencies so we'll say that okay public decimal and let's say that amount in INR we already have amount in USD right similarly we will say that public decimal amount in let's say that we wanted to have euro so we'll say amount in euro we've got this these two whatever we have got okay the three attributes that we have got and then if we want you can have the constructor for this class as well so that this constructor can accept one parameter type of opportunity okay okay this is what i am having over here now we have got this opportunity record so now what we did is we just created a very simple inner class which is also known as wrapper class we created three attributes one for holding the opportunity record information one for holding the amount in INR and one for holding the amount in euro now here what we will do is we'll say okay this dot amount in INR equal to opportunity record dot amount because this is going to be our amount and this is going to be our amount okay and then what we will do is we'll say into and then the conversion rate over here so the conversion rate let's say that for example for two days conversion rate i can take it as an example i'm saying 79 now the usd will be converted into inr if the amount is one in inr it will be 79 if the amount is uh, 100 in inr it is going to be 7900 like that similarly we are going to convert for our euro now here we need to basically see what is the conversion rate for uh, one dollar to euro like dollar to euro so here i'll just uh, say that convert to inr and here i'll say convert to euro and from here convert to from from usd okay not okay it should be from usd so from usd we are converting to this now we have got a very simple apex class which is having the details that we need in near future this is done let's go ahead and deploy this first and uh, from the query i'm going to just remove this where condition for now just for the testing purpose now the code is successfully deployed what i will do is i'll go ahead over here in this uh, class itself i'll create one more class uh, not method uh, class i'll create one more method which is uh, private static and it will say void and set test method okay test opportunity i'm going to have this and then from this method what i'll do is i'll say okay get all opportunity this is happening for this is good i i hope everyone is clear up to here now we have created this class we have created we have queried over here but where are we using this wrapper class we're not using anywhere now what we will do is we'll go ahead and say okay i am going to create a list of this wrapper class because the opportunity could be a multiple there could be multiple opportunities right so we'll say that opportunity wrappers and this is going to be again the new list we are instantiating the class of our object as a list and then what we will do is we'll say okay for loop we are going to run a for loop on this list now this list we are going to use inside our so-called for loop 
we're not using for loop and then like we are not using local query and then putting the result into the list and then using that for a iteration purpose here we are just saying okay use local for loop i trade with opportunity and inside this opportunity prepare the opportunity and then put prepare the wrapper and put into the list of opportunity wrapper that we have here so now what we are going to do is we'll say okay opportunity wrapper dot add and here we will say new opportunity wrapper and as this wrapper constructor receives one parameter which is opportunity record we are sending it from here and then instead of returning this opportunity list we will return this opportunity wrapper and then the return type of our method will be changed from opportunity to wrapper class so this is how we use our wrapper class we use our decorator pattern in order to create the field at a runtime the proxy fields or the temporary fields that we you can refer any of these fields you can say proxy fields or you can say temporary fields now the code is successfully deployed before before we test it let me talk about what we did in a quick manner created a wrapper class based on our need because we needed some extra fields and we don't want to create that field at an object label and then add one constructor of that class which is accepting opportunity as an argument as a parameter and then here we are preparing inside our constructor itself we are preparing the amount for INR we are preparing the amount for euro and then what we are doing is with the help of local for loop we are making the query on opportunity limiting till 10 opportunities you can have more then adding inside the list of our opportunity wrapper class then returning the same to our particular method now no matter from where this method is being called we will always return the list of opportunity wrapper now here in our test method what we will do is we'll say okay list of opportunity wrapper and then wrappers equal to so basically whatever we are doing is whatever is being stored in this whatever is being returned from this method we are storing in another variable called wrapper now let's quickly prepare a test test script over here we already have prepared and then what we will do is we'll go ahead and quickly debug this okay okay so what i did is i prepared the test script over here and then i'm just debugging with the help of json serialized method so what i'm doing is it is going to return the list of opportunity wrapper i'll convert that into a string and then we will print that so we should be able to see the detail in a very good representation okay now we will go ahead and execute that anonymous text the text we have selected and then we will see what outcome we are getting either we are getting the values in the variable that we wanted or not okay so we got error it says that line one column one invalid type opportunity wrapper yeah the reason we are getting this invalid type opportunity wrapper because this opportunity wrapper class is inside opportunity lwc service so how we will initiate or how we will create an object like this we'll say list of opportunity lwc service dot opportunity wrapper now inside the class we don't need to worry about making this notation like dot notation the reason because we are inside the class so inside the class whatever the inner class are there we can directly refer them without using the parent class name now we will go ahead again execute this and this time we should be able to see the response now you can see here this is this has been successfully executed now you can see this is what we have executed from a nominous console now if you scroll down to the bottom we will see we should be able to see the debug yeah here it is you can quickly see this debug and this is the wrapper now what i can do is i can just go ahead copy this and then we will go to the browser and from the browser we will say json beautifier okay code beautifier this is going to beautify our json file now you can easily see over here i'll just uh, give it a room so you can see opportunity record is a name this is a variable let me quickly walk you through this is a variable opportunity record where we are going to store all the attributes or opportunities 
you can easily see here id name amount and close date amount is inr you see here amount was 10 so we got 790 and amount in euro we got 7.5 because we are in multiplying by 0.75 similar this is the first record if we talk about second record we are easily able to see the information over here now if you want you've got this information now if you want you can use this you are sending this information to your lwc you send this and you can use data table in your lwc and represent the information there you can make the currency things working all there now let's it is working fine you are able to make it work that's fine your client is very happy now the bob and his team wants to add one more column in the table where they wanted to display the currency in australian dollar so how you will do it now there is one only like there are a couple of things that you need to do one thing you need to create a variable over here instead of amount in usd you need to say amount in aud okay that is australian dollar and here what you are going to do is you'll say amount in aud equal to the conversion rate over here whatever amount is there in usd you need to either multiply or divide so let's quickly see over here so 1 usd to aud is 1.45 okay now what you you might need to either or what you can do is you can just do the other way you say 1 aud to usd okay so it is this way so what you can do is you can just go ahead and multiply or divide by this particular amount to get the proper amount over here so basically you need to work on this calculation to get the things done now once you have done this this amount in your aud is already there in your REPL class you did the calculation now you can send this information to the front end developer who is developing the lwc part tell him that this is the variable name and the developer will use in the lwc and they then the table will be able to display the amount in us aud as well so that is how easily you can work with the decorator pattern in salesforce so this is it for this video thank you for your time again thank you very much please hit a like and subscribe also press the bell icon to don't miss the update from our channel any questions please feel free to reach out to me and we'll meet into the next video with another pattern thank you